Hello everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to play Tactical on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5 that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Tactical and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Tactical. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all buddies, the first thing to do is to launch our favorite browser. We open the one we prefer. Let's go to that URL that I'm highlighting in green color. Now, you are able to discover on the PC screen. You don't need to type it, because there's the link in the video description and the first pinned comment. We landed on this page on the website of Usatility, exactly where we include a precise overview on the best way to download and install Tactical on PC. We scroll lower a bit and mouse click on the download game on PC button. After clicking on that link, we arrive here on the website of Bluestacks, which the Android emulator that we will run to get access to that game Tactical on the PC. As you can discover here we access some pros of preferring using the emulator. Now we are on the way to start downloading the Tactical by clicking on the button play on Bluestacks that I have marked in green color. We then click on the button, and the download starts and ends immediately. Here it is, here is located the download, it is an executable file. What we are going to do now is to launch the installer, so we have to click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow changes to the computer. We clicked yes. I minimized the web browser to find the installer better. The installer is very simple. It includes a couple of possibilities. Install, and setup path. I am going to show you what setup path does indeed. We simply just simply click on it. So we discover that we have now here the path in which the emulator can be set up. If we desire to change for better this folder we are required to click on this, browse, button. Therefore we opt for another directory and set up the emulator precisely where we would like. To keep it simple, just leave it by default. I click on back, so I pick install, voila. The install commences and it's going to continue together with the download of those MB that happens to be visible on the screen. The moment you save it on your machine, it is likely to be a little more or less megabytes. The download speed may go faster or at a lower speed, based on your type of access to the web and depending on the speed capacity of the emulator hosting servers. Right now they're going incredibly fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this moment, the emulator has actually been started instantly. As you can observe, at the bottom of the screen, there is a progress bar that will move forward to the right when it gets into the finish, the emulator will be launched for the first time. The truth is the emulator has been launched, there for the very first time. Before we carry on, as now you can see, it made a couple of app icons there on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks software icon is definitely the only one we're concerned about. Whenever we need to operate Tactical on the desktop or laptop, we double mouse click on this particular icon and start the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Why don't we conduct the next step, that is a requirement, and which is to begin to browse the Google Play Store. And we will just click on Play Store. As you can observe the Google Play is presented. In this case we must sign in. At this point once we are there, we must definitely begin doing this next phase that is definitely mandatory. Therefore we mouse click on, sign in. At this moment it announces, checking info. It could from time to time get stopped at, checking info, that's why it doesn't advance. If that's the case, you may try to log in in after a couple of hours but it will surely most probably be corrected. At this moment we shall insert our email and password. The email needs to be a Gmail email as well as its corresponding password. As an example you make use of the exact same email you use currently in your YouTube account. Then I am going to enter my data and I will go back when I have accomplished it. That's it. Info inserted. Find out Google welcoming us and providing us their twos. We would consent to them all by hitting, I agree. Following, 
It allow us to save to the Google Cloud. You could keep it checked and this will build a backup of your data files on this device to Google Drive. I am not going to select it. You can make use of that option if you like. We click accept. Google Play Store is started by default and completely on its own. To set up the application, we have to get to the Android emulator desktop by simply clicking on that icon indicated green colored. Right now that we are discovering the desktop of the emulator for Android, we observe that we have now right here the install app game option. We then click on this button. There we access to the game app. Why don't we just click there on the install choice that I am just presenting now in green. And this will initiate the software installation. At this point it should download on your desktop or laptop and set up the Android game. It may take a bit of time or it could also be amazingly quickly. This all varies on our internet connection. It has actually ended setting up. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on the following option that I am presenting in green, that allows you to start Tactical for the very first time. We're presently on the emulator desktop, and then we're about to click the fresh Tactical software icon that's been generated. This game app is launched for the first time on your computer. Here we have it. I can also press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should talk about the sound level of this emulator. It is here. We have got the icon of higher volume as well as the icon of lower volume. This manner we don't depend on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of this emulator. And to appreciate the experience to the maximum, we could activate the big screen, for which we have two choices. This is simply the very first one. We simply click on this app icon that I'm identifying in green color. And the display screen is maximized, experiencing one border at the top, one on the right side and the last one at the bottom. In the event that we need to appreciate the video game using all the screen, we press on that application icon. And we might without a doubt be experiencing the video game in full screen setting. To get out of the complete screen setting, just click the F11 key. And we might currently end up being in normal computer screen setting. At present, I am ready to present you the computer keyboard mapping and that is certainly extremely enjoyable. That step we will probably be able to play the video game far more effortlessly. The first task is to click this keyboard icon. And here you will have the ability to make the required controls. Let me let the normal configuration, though if you require to modify this, you may well do so without any problem. Obviously, the emulator is absolutely in our own language. From time to time it happens that your emulator is started in the erroneous language, for example, in Chinese language. And then to set it up in the proper language we click here to the cogwheel. Then right here throughout various other configurations, we click the language drop down. We can also determine the language we prefer, German, Mandarin, and so forth. Once the language is selected, we are going to save, the emulator will restart, along with the game, the next time we run it, will of course be in the chosen language. At this point, you can find another aspect that we will need to take into consideration, and it's that we will get a message from Google telling you that a new machine has been connected with our own Google account. It should check with us if we are the ones who have connected that device. That's right, we really should not get worried, simply because the emulator is simulating an Android tablet or smartphone. In order to identify which smartphone or tablet is being emulated, we come back here, to the cogwheel and we then click on it. Therefore we browse here to the, model, option. And right here we determine that the emulator is behaving like a Samsung smartphone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for this training. I sincerely hope you enjoyed it, especially that you found it informative. In this case, offer it a pleasant like, subscribe to the channel, and if you have feedback, concerns or ideas, put them in the comment box below. You could also comment things on my Twitch channel, I actually do live streams ever so often, you get it listed below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Simply click on any of the videos that happens to be appearing on the screen and see you in the future video game videos. Bye.